Hello, new friend. My name is Fred. The words you hear are in my head. I say, I said, my name is Fred. And I've been very naughty. The story I'm about to tell, I tell you I will tell it well, is of my dear Aunt Muriel and just how I've been naughty. Voila, the farm. My aunt lives here with precious pup and husband dear. My heart beat fast as I drew near. I felt so nice and naughty. I thought just how excited they must be that I would come today. They'd shout, come Fred, huzzah, hooray! Dear boy, you look so naughty. <coughs> That's when my tired eyes beheld a doggy dog. Like dog, he spelled. D-O-G is what he spelled, and that's how I spell naughty. <gasps> Alone was I with tender courage, and all his fur, his furry forage, which, I say, did encourage me to be quite naughty. Courage. <laughs> Your hair. It reminds me of the first time I knew just how I felt about hair. It was a day I'd not forget, the day that I first met my pet. Oh, what a lovely gift to get. I'd never felt so naughty. My fuzzy friend is what he was, this darling little ball of fuzz. And oh, such fuzz, such fuzz, it does demand that I be naughty. He looked at me, his fetching eyes, and fetching fur did hypnotize. I filled with joy, I filled with sighs, and that's when I got naughty. This dripping hair, this droopy curl, unfurls sweet memories of a girl. With tresses, oh, they twist and twirl, and tempt me to be naughty. Barbara, my love was named, and her fair hair a mane untamed. Until one evening, I'm ashamed, I got a little naughty. <laughs> the look upon my young love's face was sweet as lace. But in this case, I realized she... needed space. I never more was naughty. Well, maybe not never. Dear Kerr, your fur and fleece remind of nothing found in humankind, but for one fellow who did find me to be in a certain to my shop he walked one day, with bush above and beard bouquet. That's no to pay, I pray, no way. I could help but be, you know. Just a trim, partner. I'd never seen such hair before. His bangs, they sang. His neck, it beckoned. Eyebrows, armpits, all were reckoned. Soon I figured, what the heck, and guess how I was naughty. Sweet pooch, afraid I'll shave your tail? Why, now, that would be weird. So ends our little story. What took them so long? But then my landlords did presume to free me from that porcelain tomb and ferry to a private room your hero, Ever Doughty. 
Goodbye, dear aunt. I'll miss your farm and Eustace's ebullient charm. And farewell, courage. What's the harm if I was slightly naughty? With love, Fred.